Hello, hello, another week. Um, dead quick, I'm going to start from the finished product and then work backwards this time. So we're doing the double Fisherman's, which is a knot in its own right and a really good stopper knot. So I'll, I'll start in a minute with showing you how to tie the knot um, on its own, single piece of rope as a stopper knot. Uh, and then we're going to basically cover this, which is two pieces of rope uh, with um, a double Fisherman's on each side which joins two pieces of rope together like this hello hello welcome to van arena again um another knot video trying to do one a week we're going to cover the double fisherman's knot today which is great as a stopper knot and for those of you that are arborists you'll probably know what that means which is if you've got a dynamic climbing system um, the rope that's coming up through your friction device, whether it's mechanical or rope, um, needs a stopper knot so that it doesn't just run through the device and you fall like the tree, which I have known to happen. Um, but also, it's really good for joining two pieces of rope together. And they overlap like this. And then this rope has double fishermen's. And then this rope has a double fishermen's. And when you pull the two together, it really does join the rope very securely. Um, because the, the 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 harder you pull it, the tighter the knots get. So it, it's a very secure knot for joining two pieces of rope together. But there are other applications. For instance, uh, if you're into your bracelets, if you think of paracord, lots of nice different coloured paracord that you can get, and lots of people buy them at the beach or wherever they go on holiday. But these particular bracelets, if you do the same thing, if you make a loop, and then the two pieces, the two end pieces go together, double fishermen's and dual fishermen's, it's the same thing. It's like an adjustable bracelet. Uh, bracelet. Um, but in tree terms, maybe I should have come to this first, um, this kind of loop with the two fishermen's, dual fishermen's knots, it, it creates a, a loop in the rope. And you can use that as a prussic loop, uh, which is a very basic but very effective old school type of friction device for climbing. And that's what I'm going to do today. Right, oh, got two bits of rope here and here. But just for now, we'll start with just the double fisherman's as a stopper knot. I'll try and not get my hands in the way. Now, ropes, generally speaking, are, are braided in such a way that I'm pinching it now, and when I twist it either way, there is resistance because of the weave of all these threads. That's going to play to our advantage. So I'm going to pinch. I'm going to make a bite in the rope like this. And the rope's starting to bite back on me now. So one, let it run through this hand. Two, and shove it through. That, that <laughs> I made that up. One, two, shove it through. Right, okay, do it again. Okay, this is a double fisherman, so end of the rope. You're going to pinch it. I'm going to do one, and then a back on itself. Two and shove it through like this i'm too busy looking at the camera rather than me not one two shove it through one more time one more time and then we'll do the two bits of rope together okay so and it's going back on itself okay one two and shove it through like that now that in itself that's a double fisherman's knot that's great as a stopper knot. So imagine a dynamic climbing system where this is kind of out of sight. This is the tail end of the rope. And then uh, you're abseiling and it's coming down. This is your friction device, friction device. There you go. It can't run through, can't fall out the tree, or you can't fall from height. Uh, that is a double fisherman's knot uh, on its own for use as a stopper knot. One last time. Okay, tail end, attached end, one, two, shove it through, like that. Okie dokie, back again, remember one, two, shove it through, I now have two pieces of rope. So, imagine, I mean these are just hanging up in the van, but imagine this is a loop. Um, and you want to attach two pieces of rope together. It's exactly the same as I've just shown you. It's one, two, shove it through. Okay, so, put the ropes together. 
We'll start with this one. Okay. It's got, don't forget it goes back on itself. So one, two, and then shove it through. And we have a, a one double fisherman's knot here. But the great thing is, it's gone over a rope. See that? See that? And then you do the same with the other side. So, a one, two, and shove it through. And then you've got two fishermen's knots, rather loose, they've not been dressed, but if I was to pull these together and tighten them, they would only ever, sorry, went off screen there, only ever tighten. Let's do that again. So, you know how to tie double fishermen's, but now we're going to tie it on two bits of rope, sorry, <laughs> two bits of rope, and we're going to overlap. So we overlap the ropes like this with enough rope to tie the double fishermen's. Let's start with this one, okay? Okay, so it's going to go wrap around this rope. It's going to go one, and it's bending back on itself. Okay, one, two, and shove it through. I'm not sure if that's a technical term. And then you do the same on the other side. So this is the, the bit that's running through that knot. Same thing, okay? Doesn't matter which way you push it, but one, two, and shove it through, like that. And then when you pull these two ropes together, again, it's designed to join two pieces of rope together. When you pull it, it will only ever get tighter. The more you pull it, incredibly secure. Uh, and if this is on a smaller piece of rope, you can make a prussic loop from it. I mean, you, you might need to dress these end bits a little bit, you know, perfect your knot tying to make it a bit smaller. But this is, that is a double fisherman's not